In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to create uh, features from uh, CMM points. So we have this concept inside of Control X called simulated CMM points. And one of the main reasons why we built these is because uh, when you make measurements off of scan data, sometimes you make measurements that where maybe I select this whole plane that may have thousands and thousands of points where the old method would have been on a CMM and maybe they only probed four points on that plane, right? So there is the chance that you're going to get slightly different measurements because the techniques are a little bit different. And this uh, idea of a simulated CMM point will make a similar technique um, so the idea of a simulated CMM point is you're kind of probing the scan data. So if I come in and I put this probe location here on the surface of that part and then hit OK, you'll see that we just basically put a portable uh, a CMM point on that location there. And you can call these out like I'm randomly clicking on the surface here, but you can dictate the exact location and the direction and even the type of probe contact that you have. Um, so if I create these three, I'm just going to do three here. Um, I essentially virtually probed these different locations. Now, once I have those uh, three different probe locations, you can plug those into anything else like... I can actually say that those three points will create a plane. So I basically probed three points and then I made a plane out of those three points. And then once you have that, you can actually use this plane for all kinds of things. You can make measurements to and from it. And you can even come over and say, I want to create a datum from that plane and then reference that probed plane inside of AGD&T callout. Right, so there's a lot of different things you can do with uh, simulated CMM points, and they're a valuable part of CX.